My name is Kathy Wilson, and I'm the author of Being Neighbours, Cooperative Work and Rural Culture, 1830 to 1960. I'm delighted and deeply honoured to be the recipient of the Ontario Historical Society's J.J. Tallman Award. Several years ago, my mother gave me my great-great-grandmother's diary from 1884. I read it and was absolutely hooked. I then began collecting other diaries from across Ontario and created the Rural Diary Archive website. There are now hundreds of diaries on the website which you can read, search and transcribe for free. And it's these diaries that form the basis of my book, Being Neighbours. There is something about the power and immediacy of diaries of putting ordinary people and their everyday lives at the centre of history that really reached me. I was struck by how often neighbours worked together on each other's farms. They called this cooperative work neighbouring or a bee as people worked like bees in a hive. Early settlers called work bees to cut down trees to make fields and raise houses and barns. And as farms developed, they called even more bees. By working in groups, they could speed up and increase production by hauling produce to the threshing machine, the silo, the hay press and the buzz saw. Cooperative work was therefore an important factor in the creation of their farms and later in the mechanization and market orientation of their farms. There are chapters on the most iconic bees in the book, the quilting, barn raising and threshing bees. These are fun to read and there's also a chapter on the great feasts that followed these cooperative work events and that will whet your appetite. Working together created a sense of belonging and fond memories. But people's cooperation was not simple or natural because it involved families balancing their individual needs with responsibility to neighbours. And so the book is really about the subtle politics of mutual dependency. Being flexible and returning the favour in a responsible manner was really important. On occasion, however, the opportunity to drink, flirt and compete instilled high spirits at these events and accidents, violence and sometimes even murders were known to happen. In such cases, working relationships had to be quickly mended through negotiation and reconciliation. I would like to thank the Social Science and Humanities Research Council of Canada the Francis and Ruth Redelmeyer Professorship in Rural History and McGill Queen's University Press for their support. And of course, the Ontario Historical Society for this very special award. May you enjoy reading the book as much as I enjoyed researching and writing it. <laughs>